It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Oh, it is a winter wonderland indeed. The snow is falling in upstate New York as you get a look inside Highmark Stadium and Orchard Park. Today we've got an AFC East matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gaughton on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? This one fielded at the five. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second. On second and nine, Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. They're able to... On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yucker yep. is here on third. Going to the air, Tugamailoa. And that is allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Allen now on first down. That's to Cook out of the backfield. Give him a gain of... Throwing again on second down. Allen, that's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. 
And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. And that tight. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Another they come up on first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, to have that dagger play, to have that play and just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to get that big advantage early. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's it. From just shy of midfield, Allen. And this is Cook with a grab. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's at the 42-yard line. Allen. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Guard line. After the turnover, it's Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And that leads to a second and 10. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46. Third down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And down to the 41. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just didn't. From the 41, Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag rest. Up the middle they go with Mostert. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Offside, defense. And that's about the easiest decline call you'll ever have right there. Well, it leads me to one of my pet peeves. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard. They hand it off to Moster. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes. Tua sets up to pass it. And this is good on as Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Got it inside the 10. Still not a first yet. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off. I mean, that was something right there. We fell for the fake in a big way, as did the defense. And look what it turned into, a monster play. And now they're set up inside the five-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the draft. One more time with Mostert. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Nothing doing there as the third. Two and now, third and goal. Tugging Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. And this obviously about as short of a field goal as you can get. Sanders' kick is good, and that'll do it for the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter.
Sanders now to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Their second drive with the ball game charge. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And down he goes, but he takes it up. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. That will wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. First and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory, down at the 31. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's got it down to the 28. Well, that's just a pile of bodies. they got to get it to the 21 here on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills are going to tie the game at three. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. It gets a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? Is they got No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Eight yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And Diggs has it. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. On play action, Allen. Can't get away, and he's taken down. The corner blitz gets the back. Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw. Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's McKenzie. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down. Play action. Now it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good 10. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And some space here. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard. On first down, Allen. He'll dump this off to Cook. A beautiful fake. And they'll have it in the red zone. Mission to be in here, second and inches. Allen going to throw. Buying time to his left. Allen, nifty footwork. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards. First down, here's the run with Cook. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and resack a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no game. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Singletary. Will score. Touchdown, Buffalo.
Hawks are a great second effort there as he's able to stay upright and get into the end zone. I think not just a second effort. I think a third effort was what got him in. Maybe possibly even a fourth. Yeah, whatever it was, he was not going to be denied. Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 now. So that one along. Offense come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A quick slant to Hill. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. In game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. On second and 10, Tua. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Coming up here looking for three. You got the first. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. They needed three. He doubled. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. And a completion to Wilson. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the... And again, it's Tug of Iloa. And this will be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run. Here's Tua. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. Tua setting up shop to throw again. On the right side open is Gesicki. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. This is the ball in his hands. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua dancing to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this. The throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Looking to pass. Tua, he is going to find Hill here. And the Dolphins are going to hey, find a way to convert there on third and one. Two and a throw again. And this is in getting three points. The kick by Sanders is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First though, time for a check of the next-gen stats for that first half for Miami. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they too did throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Too many breaks ahead, according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. 
Well, this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 37. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, the throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And that's good for a pick. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. But just four. Here's Allen on first and 10. Throw left side complete. That's McKenzie. And he'll go to getting this inside the 30. Duggan more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring it. Here's Allen to throw it. Flush to his right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Allen now looks to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. That's 39 yards away. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. And the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing now is Chugamailoa. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be set. To throw again on second down. Tua. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one of first plays have him on the move on first down. Two are going to throw. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want to catch the football first. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hill. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third. And Quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. On second down, Mostert. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. Boy, that is a seven-yard loss. Second down now. Now Tua. Out route to Hill complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll drop the throw. And that orders in the Dolphin field goal unit. Sanders' kick is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have 35. On play action, Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he slips up past four minutes to go, third quarter. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. A big completion there against double coverage. And Charles, one of those guys had a pick on him earlier. Yeah. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And some run now. 
And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Allen now on first down. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Throwing on first down is Allen. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. That's good for a gain of six. All position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Allen going to try and keep it. And he takes it in across the chalk for Bills touchdown. Josh Allen, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. He talked about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting the ropes because it was jab, jab. Jeff, and finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. From the gun, a run with Moster. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36. A gain of about four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's it as they come up on third down. Here's Tua. Steps away to his left. Next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the gun, it's Ellen. On the slant, he's got Davis. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Get from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. On third down, they go with Singletary. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often now as they come up on first and ten. They go right back to Singletary. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Running on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down. Six, not bad. This is third and ten. They'll run here with Singletary. And he'll only get this to the 17. Well shot. This will be a 34-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish. A first and ten at the 31-yard line. Going to the air. Tugga by Loa. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Particularly running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first up at all either throughout the first three quarters. You're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try and find some targets in the open field downfield. Two and a Tyreek for the Miami first. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down of territory at the 45-yard line. Looking to pass. Tua. Over the middle here to Wilson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. 
Frederick Wilson. It's a gain of 10. First down. Come up on first and 10. Play action. Now it's Tua. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Dropped for a loss of seven. From the gun, it's Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line. Of fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. He'll let this go for the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill. 42 yards. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Allen. He'll find Gabriel Davis. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. 99 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Here's Allen on first and 10. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he'll be brought down on the other side into Miami territory at the 43. Now a run with Singletary. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain. That's now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Gets your reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they say. Singletary again. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. It's third and three. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. You'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And despite the cold, despite the snow, this one was fun to watch, and I want to thank you for bringing two things, the space heater and the hot chocolate. Those were a big help for us here in the booth. Yeah, just so you know, in the future, get your own space heater. Okay, I'm an only child. I don't share very often. But this had to bring out, like, the 12-year-old in us, didn't it? I mean, to be able to watch this, and let's face it, when you were that age, you didn't come inside until mom screamed, get inside now, young man, because you wanted to be out there just having a good time, and actually you almost forgot just how cold it was. I'm sure these guys didn't, but they ended up playing just like those 12-year-olds and getting it done.